Zazu's 104, keeping the beat with Monster Prom. We're getting some sexy bitches. He, Devin's getting some sexy <laughs> werewolf men. It's going pretty nice right now. I didn't realize that in the ear of the cat, that was fur. Yeah, it's a style. What you thought it was? I, I thought there was like a piece of ice cream sticking out her ear. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> so, see, I thought her ear was having a tiny explosion. <laughs> I'm going back to the map. <laughs> God damn, you weirdo. We're taking shits all the time and get with girls. Oh, guys. Alright, you <laughs> skip the class and tell you to spend the term in the bathrooms. Your, 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 your special domain. <laughs> you encounter three wild hyenas what? on the way there. Who the fuck runs security here? <laughs> anyway, you subdue them with the help of a hair, com hair comb. Calm. God. Fuck. <laughs> hair comb. God bless the monster scouts and all the idiotic scenarios they prepared you for. By the time you get to the bathroom, you totally gain plus. Oh my god! <laughs> Dude. You really started to be using some of this fucking boldness here. <laughs> boldness. All right. You come to as if you have been knocked out or drugged or something. <laughs> to the sound of. Oh, oh my God! No! no, not this fucker. Welcome back to the season two of the Interdimensional Bachelor. And today, competitors are the last season's flaw in the cog, spicy McNug, and an army of sexy werewolves. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Dude, you're gonna romance Scott. Oh shit! What's up, losers? What is that? I don't know. He's like a demon That's or some cool. shit. As a, as a football player. The last time, fuck bench, I'm not a werewolf. <laughs> Perhaps not, but you have a fiery temperament, wolf like tribe, and killer abs, so it's close enough. <laughs> yeah, bro! One of us! One of us! One of us! <laughs> I thought you were going to do a sports game. Do they have the same voice? <laughs> no, I gave him a deep. I gave the the guy with the, the werewolves behind him a deeper one. Wow. Oh, okay. Uh, sports game. Sports game. What the hell? <laughs> we are, my dear sweet army of sexy werewolves, and spicy McCurry. We are, in fact, it's time for our first round. Are you ready? For your first test of speed, strength, and skill on the interdimensional bachelor season two, it's time to see which one of you incredible lichens can sign your name on this legally binding document that is in no way a marriage contract. The fastest. Oh god. <laughs> wow, that's fucked up, dude. <laughs> it's like, mm, marriage? Well, okay. <laughs> you can see the werewolf's tails wagging in anticipation, ready to prove themselves the fastest, bestest athletes, and Damien is cracking his knuckles, not about to be undone. <laughs> if you don't step in, at least one or two of these people are going to end up married to the prince out of sheer hyper-competitiveness. Thinking quickly, you... Boy, every time this guy is involved, you just do everything you can to make his day awful. Sign the name in Tyrolithian the Terrible, thus summoning him. Eat the coach. That, that would be you. That more is, boldness! That is very... More fucking boldness! <laughs> Fast as lightning, you sprint over to the table where the marriage contract sits and devour it. I... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was gonna eat it! <laughs> They're all just- they're No, all no, just... whoa, whoa, why is he blushing for? <laughs> he's here to find out arousing? <laughs> you that so fast. Go ahead, click mm. I honestly have no backup plan. Uh, that was it. I was really, really counting on the athlete's sense of comp competition to immediately drive them to sign the contract with no thought whatsoever. <laughs> Dude, you fucked them over. I was just so confident in that, that, that I, well, huh, well, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose you can all just- Go home now, then. See you next scheme. <laughs> man, if he calls that a scheme, that's pretty embarrassing. Who would actually fall for... Oh, man, no fair! They ain't the contract before we even got started! It's all caps except for they. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is weird. Um, oh, no, man. no, no, no. They is referring to you. Because that that's why it's not capitalized. Uh... Because that's the gender you chose to be. That's funny. I was really hoping you were able to choose your gender, like, That other... is your gender! No, but I mean, like, type in what you want to be called. I was going to choose attack helicopter, because that's what I normally put as my gender for websites and stuff. Oh, that's adorable. Rematch! 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 
Oh, if we're doing a rematch, I'm definitely going to sign the contract so good, so fast. You and Damien hustle the worlds out of the Prince's Dimension before they can accidentally marry themselves off. <laughs> that is so you and all remain singly ha single happily ever after. Free to fit take whoever you want to the prom. You gain plus two fun and plus one smarts. Oh look, you're almost starting to become fun. <laughs> Not as fun as me. Wait, 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 wait. You're about half the fun I am. I'm more rounded. All of mine are closer together than yours. You just have yes. really high fun. I don't really need creativity. I'm pretty happy with all my other stats. Alright, I will go to the library. Because why not? Uh, libre. Libre. What? <laughs> why am I. Oh. <laughs> that day you spent some time. At, oh, library's PCs. Mining some bitcoins! <laughs> That's funny. It's mine bitcoin. This is supposed to have something to do with solving algorithms and the rise of cryptocurrency. But you guess that nobody actually has any fucking idea how it really works. I certainly don't. I don't know how Bitcoins work. Anyway, you gain plus two Bitcoin, which is equal to two. That's about, I mean, a Bitcoin, I'm pretty sure, is worth $6,000 right now. Mm -hmm. So, it's crazy. Two million dollars. Right. Which, unfortunately, is equal to two monster dollars. So, I get two money. That's, wow, goddamn. That means a million human currency is one monster dollar. Damn. That's, that's a tough world to live in. Monsters could just like. I'm gonna say monsters. Easily. Monsters could do so well in the human world. Polly seems really excited about trying to reverse Romanian Winkleson with you, but I don't know what it is yet. <laughs> oh, and the only thing you have to do is get all the needed supplies. But I don't know. Which would be fine, except you're doing it with any of the more. <laughs> Luckily, you got a few spare minutes to try and figure this out. I searched the internet. Okay, good. I, I do a quick search on my phone because you assume the internet must know something about this as, so as long as it's related to your weird sexual fantasies. Yes. Okay. All right, um, nothing. What? Nothing? While well, trying other keywords, you spot the coven looking over at your phone. Oh, the coven mate knows something. Hey, guys. Creeping on my phone? What? <laughs> Could it possibly be they know something about the reverse Romanian Winkleson? <laughs> no. They're always bitching so much about saving the world, they would never admit that they're into the kind of weird sex fantasies. Fetish fetishes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're not searching hard enough on the net. <laughs> oh, God, what do I do? I'm so, I'm so fucking scared right now. Or maybe you're letting your pre prejudices blind you. There's not much more time to lose here. The solution is clear. Oh, yeah, okay. You're tackling online searching is... You're tackling online searching is a very short-sighted way. You need to come up with ex unexpected search terms that will point you in the right direction. Use your people skills to get the three witches to admit they know what a reverse radio wrinkle thing is. I'll tell you what you need to get for it. Okay, I, I gotta ask the coven. Definitely. They must know. You use your refined persuasion skills with the coven, which include techniques such as repeating, tell me what a reverse Romanian Winkleson is, to the point of exhaustion. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me. Please tell me. Okay, okay, we might know what a reverse Romanian Winkleson is. But we know because of saving the world. I'm sure you do. I don't care. Just fucking tell me. So you'll need a penguin mask, a bas bag of marbles, and a kilo of gua guacamole. We're sure Valerie was selling a penguin mask the other day. Don't think we have a kilo of guac for you. What kind of pervs do you think we are? I don't know. The kind that would know my sexual fantasies? Um, we totally have a bag of marbles, though. How about you keep the marbles and we never mention this again? I'm down with that. Please give me those. Okay, bye. <laughs> Nicely done. In the end, it turned out to be exactly like that old toy commercial jingle. Marbles, marbles, you never have enough. They're perfect for booby traps and for super weird sex stuff. <laughs> I like TV. <laughs> <laughs> um, these marbles smell funny, though. Maybe they're already used. Ooh, ugh. At first, you feel like that's not okay, but then again, you're about to get into some really kinky stuff, so who are you to judge? Your mind is open and your excitement grows. You gain plus two craving and plus one fun. I'm at 20 fucking fun! So are you able to get more fun? I don't know. I don't know if 20 is the max stat. <laughs> that weekend. Oh, wait, how oh. many? Well, it's only happened to you. How many weeks are there? I have three. Three. Okay, okay something so happened to you. Two currently, right? Well, we're, we'll look how close we are. See the top? Oh, damn, we're almost done with it. Yeah. Okay, but something happens to you, so it's time again. You're having a quiet evening with a coconut, totally not human flesh flavored smoothie. <laughs> when Polly faces in, you better not woo my girl. You better not woo my girl to rip your nuts out of you, motherfucker. <laughs> Sup, Spicy McNug? You planning on coming to my death day party? Happy death day? <laughs> it's a good movie. It's gonna be lit! It's gonna have all kinds of reminders of the way I died. <laughs> Guillotines, quicksand, alligators, and all the food will be poisoned, of course. Wait, what? How exactly did this girl die again? 
You know, I've been thinking about it, and I'm really into the idea of sharing my afterlife with a fellow ghost, you know? Oh, is, is she... Is that cuz... Wait. Is that cuz you're a shadow? A shadow, I guess, in a sense, is a ghost, maybe? Could I be... Wait, am I a demon, you're, maybe? No, you're definitely a shadow kid. Demons are kind of like shadows, too. No, no. The the no, Damien is the cute. demon. They're not gonna have okay. two of... They're not gonna have two of the same kind of person. Think of all the cute ghost dates we could go on! Going to haunted houses on Halloween and actually haunting them? Devin, I am not exaggerating when I say that our friendship rests on the choices that you make here today. <laughs> Walking through walls to get where we want to go? Appearing in turns to reveal perspective and truth to greedy old misers who don't appreciate the holidays? <laughs> Freaking Christmas Carol. You know, all that classic ghost stuff. But I also kind of wouldn't hate dating Splooshier. So um, I guess my question to you is, what do you think his death day party will be? I will kill you. Like, will he become a ghost soon-ish at least? I'm not super patient, but I do think he parties down and could party even further down as a ghost. I will die for this woman, Devin. So you better make it look like that. <laughs> Splooshier, that relentless bastard eats gluten. Gluten, I tell you! He'll be dead by <laughs> noon, probably! Splooshier's gonna be around a long, long time, <laughs> trust me. He already have a place reserved in a retirement community, and it's taking a bingo and become an expert knitter. Game over. I mean, not game not over. Not for a long time. He are gonna die an old, old monster! I'm just gonna I'm just gonna gently place my hand on your nuts. So that when when the choice comes, you'll you'll know what's correct. Mm -hmm. Come on, buddy. What? Get back here. What? You Why? got you got to make my choice. What are you talking about? I, I, already, need... I already made it. No, you, you didn't. Oh, it. What, what? oh, why the fuck did you walk? Which one did you pick? I wasn't looking, you motherfucker. I wasn't looking. Which one did you pick? Tell me right now. <laughs> Which one did you do? You're gonna live a long life. I you mother. <laughs> Fucker! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> I don't want to kill you! <laughs> I hate you! You're dead to me! You're fucking dead to me! You're not dead to me! <laughs> Fuck you, dude! <laughs> you can do a lot now. I can't believe you did that to me! <laughs> I hate you! Go home! <laughs> I WANT TO DO COCAINE WITH HER! Oh my god. You just... I hope that fucking hurt. <laughs> no! I swear, I... Could you just kill me, babe? <laughs> I'm gonna... If, you, if, there, if something comes up like that... Damn, usually when you mess with your friends, love lives for the... Or for the lols, you just cock block them. You might end up getting someone... <laughs> what was that sound? <laughs> it was a vacuum cleaner. Oh, swear cool. to God, Devin. Gained another boldness. Inciting a murder. Are you proud of yourself? <laughs> was the boldness worth it? Choose an occupation. Say your choice out loud. Murderer! <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I changed my mind. Cock blocker. Comedian. <laughs> sure, buddy. Play order decided best on how likely it would be for Spice to get a job. It's like too late. You already are a cock blocker. Me. No. What? No. No. Too late. You are what you eat. You dumbass. I swear to God, if something like that happens, I am screwing you over majorly. I swear to God, I will fuck you up. Why is the cat lady appearing everywhere? I don't. I don't know, but I don't want to see her. I want to go to the auditorium. I'm a dinosaur. <laughs> See what my life has come to now. That day while rehearsing for the class party, it's as though the muses themselves have, den have descended to give you a figurative Oh yeah, right, my blow drum. Performance is intense and inspiring. Which will be remembered for generations. Pretty rap by high school play standards. I gain plus two creativity. Oh god, I'm so hot and sweaty. <laughs> Suddenly you see pot, poly vomit, ectoplasm all over her cell phone. You rush to help her. Please don't listen to anything this fucker told you! I will gladly die for you! <laughs> Ugh! Ugh! I just got my 97th hey as an opening line on Tinder! <laughs> oh, isn't that just the worst? <laughs> I just had the puke of pure boredom! Hey! Hey! What am I supposed to do with hey? 
Whatever happened to reaching out to someone with a fierce dick pic? <laughs> Pretty sure some people still do that. <laughs> people are just copy pasting hay and sending it to every monster that looks halfway interesting. What about you? Are you a hay person too? I hope not. If you read the Tinder profile of a fun-loving spectral delight session myself, what would you say to me? You're bootyful. Or are you on drugs because I want to do you all night long? Yes! No. Hell yeah! Drugs! See? Drugs. <laughs> That's a great opening line! Also, what's your drugs? You wake up an, an indiscriminate amount of time later feeling like shit, but happy about it. So like, unicorn shit, where's its rainbow go? Wait, it's like unicorn shit where it's rainbow or something? Where, when you run into Polly later, she's grinning like a lunatic and clear something went down. Maybe one of you. Whoa. Hey there, cutie patootie. I had the best time the other night. We should really do this again sometime. And I mean all of it. Even that zoo animal style stuff. Oh my god, did I fuck her? Are you a furry? <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, I'm not a furry. It's her that's normal. You left a couple things in my place and so put them outside your locker. With that, Polly disappears, leaving you to wonder what exactly had transpired between you and what article of clothing you left behind. You sat on opposite sides of the couch watching I Family Guy all night. I sound like the slut in this scenario. <laughs> when I leave my panties at her house, <laughs> but when you open the box marked Splusher, all you see are a pair of handcuffs and the last surviving brisky pigeon. We killed the species! <laughs> Neither of those things are yours, but you would hate for Polly to think you're lame. Apparently when she said zoo animal stuff, she meant stealing a bird. There you go. So it seems like you, maybe you guys didn't so much have sex, but you, she clearly wants to spend more time with you, so hell yeah! You go home with a huge grin and a new pair of handcuffs and the, la and the last surviving... Whoops. What was the last surviving brisket pigeon? You should be more careful with your belongings. Just kill the pigeon. Yep. No. Irrelevant. You gain Polly's admiration and plus two farm and 21 fun. Dude, 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 dude. I'm making a comeback. I'm gonna <laughs> fix what, I'm gonna fix what you did to me. I'm gonna do it. You can't gonna, fix it. I can too. Anyway. I'm just still going to do it. That day you skip the class and take another shit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. On the way there you run into my mama Mamimi the Oni girl. She offers you some of her weird Japanese energy drink. You take a sip, it tastes crazy as hell. You need to check the contents of the shit. Guarana seed extract, benzoic acid, 50 milligrams of caffeine, and 100 milligrams of boldness. Oh, more. Well, it wasn't bad boldness. at all. You gained plus two boldness. Thanks. 21 thank, boldness. Thank mommy, me, when, and proceed to the bathrooms. I don't care. You're not pulling scream in the bathroom? Yeah. It's just monster. I mean, they're in a monster problem, so. Yeah, I know. Of course, no trip to the bathroom would be complete without running. Oh, I'm sorry, I hit the space bomb. Okay. Ugh, Damien, you're the worst! I know, I... I am the worst! <laughs> she means that in a bad way. Did you really have to set fire to an entire deck of cards? Why are you showing me shit on your phone? I was just a random guy in a leaf. I don't know, did the deck of cards have to keep dealing me shitty hands? Not necessarily, that's not how probability works. Well then, I guess it didn't necessarily need to set it on fire, but since when was that stopping? Well, now you stopped all of us from playing poker! Now what are we gonna bet on? Mama needs a new pair of shoes! <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I derive on an almost sexual pleasure from taking your money, so what's the new game? Oh, oh, you know the perfect poker alternative. Russian rule. <laughs> <laughs> DUDE! <laughs> THE <Long> STOCK MARKET! <laughs> Russian roulette. <laughs> well, I think Polly's got the advantage of Russian roulette with her yeah. being dead already. <laughs> I mean, that's up to you, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, not so smart. You fool. Don't tell them about the... Click. The stock market? What's the oh, stock no. market? Is it a place to go shopping? Did you sell drugs? Holy shit, they sell everything out here. Drugs, tanks, bombs, cigarettes, crude oil, grenades, you name it. Cool, bro. Woo, let's go! No, don't go there. You're seriously misunderstanding the concept. But it's too late. Damien and Polly have already booked a flight to New York City. <laughs> what you doing? You sent my girl away! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's all over the news that night. Ghost and demon kill slash have sex with New York Stock Exchange. <laughs> Don't. You find your three friends at school the next day. Oh, okay. He's, he's back. All upset Except for, for different, different reasons. reasons. My portfolio ruined. You imbeciles crashed the market overnight. <laughs> oh, my God. 
You think you have it bad? They threw me in jail. It took me hours to burn my way out. Oh, you two have nothing to complain about. Did you know those stockbrokers were all on so much coke they couldn't even get it up? <laughs> what? <laughs> Polly, Damien, and Vera may not agree on what the problem is, but they do agree on who the problem is. You lose plus two fun and money. No, oh, it's, mi it's minus two, so it's minus two. No, oh, plus I, 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 I lose. Well, you lose that. I don't need well, fun. You fucked you fuck that up, dude. I have 21 boldness. All right, we choose an animal. Uh, and hippopotamus. A cat. Cool. Clickies. Play order site based on how cute a video where a charming cat becomes friends with a selected animal would be. Cat becomes cat, uh, friends with a cat. Yeah, no, that's standard life, bro. Yeah, I think there's nothing unique about yours. You fucked yourself. Hey, no. Cats. 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 No. Cats. No, cat. I think a hippopotamus cat. with a kitty cat. would be cat. more adorable. Cat. Yeah, but the hippopotamus would end up eating it. No, it wouldn't. They're <laughs> yeah. not. Hippopotamus aren't meat eaters, dude. Okay. I'm pretty sure Wait. they eat like weeds and seaweed and shit. Nope, sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm putting on mine here. There's not, nothing interesting about a cat, but a cat. You've never if you seen, picked, a, you've if never you picked seen a normal animal, you would have like had a chance to fight that one. I should have picked like a even a even a dog. I w yeah, it's a, a T Rex. I would have said sure. That would have been that would have been hilarious. All right, that's all the time we got for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, for us to play in the future. And I will see you guys wow, wow, next wow. time. Are you fucking mocking me? Later's.